you disagree with them, they threaten you. Thousands of hacked emails showing global warming scientists blasting researchers who do not buy into their doomsday scenarios. One of the scientists threatening to, and I quote now, beat the crap out of my next guest. Pat Michaels from the Cato Institute joins me now. Pat, welcome to the program. Hey, I'm still here. <laughs> yes, you are. Congratulations. Now, these are emails from within the climate change community, and I want to, I want to just quote one of them. Here it is. I'm going to put it up on the screen. This email says, we can't account for the lack of warming at the moment, and it is a travesty that we can't. That implies that the evidence for global warming is rather weak, or that some evidence is being suppressed therein. What do you say? What's going on with that quote is Kevin Trenberth from the National Center for Atmospheric Research is saying that our computer models did not anticipate the fact that it hasn't warmed for the last 10 years or so, and in private to all his colleagues who, who call themselves the climate community, he says, it's a travesty. If you interview him in public, he's not going to say that. Isn't and that's the nature of what's going on in these emails. There is another the email, stuff, isn't there another email yeah. where they're talking about a trick and someone is boasting of using a statistical trick to make the warming look steeper in recent years? Uh, yes, it was a, a something a phrase called hide the decline. Hmm. Uh, and Phil Jones, who wrote that from the University of East Anglia, has, admit, has said, yes, indeed, he did write that. He said it didn't know what it referred to. He knows darn well what it referred to because he's a co-author on a lot of papers who uh, uh, use this data that he is referring to. It's tree ring data that diverges from the global temperature around 1960. And uh, in order to make it look better, they decided not to extend the tree ring data. Let, let's, uh, uh, this is, I, I just want to move on real fast to the threat. Yeah. Uh, let me quote that one. I'm really sorry that you have to go through all this stuff, Phil. Next time I see Pat Michaels at a scientific meeting, I'll be tempted to beat the crap out of him. Very tempted. Now, how do you feel about that? You're on the receiving end of this threat. Uh, how do you feel? Yeah, Ben Sanders not a small guy either. That shows that there's a very, very thin skin. All these emails reveal a remarkable thin skin, uh, and t that tells me that something's very wrong. The real problem here is the emails showing these guys trying to intimidate the editors of the major scientific journals and succeeding. In other words, keeping me and my friends and my colleagues from publishing in the refereed literature. But the bottom That's line here, serious. Pat, if you, if you look across the spectrum of all these hacked into emails, do they show that some in the climate community are beginning to have second thoughts about whether global warming exists or not? Are they having doubts? It's not whether warming exists or not. It's the seriousness of it and the threat that is presented by people who merely say, you know, it might not be the end of the world. By the way, the other side's going to say this story is going to go away. No, it's not. There is so much in here. It's like Watergate. Things are going to come up and up and up and up for the next year. What are you going to do about it? I'm just going to sit here and read a gog. I first thought it was nothing when I, then my jaw dropped, dropped, dropped and wound up on the floor on Friday night. So you got these, you were advised of what was going on, you started to read them on Friday night. Are there literally thousands of these emails? Is, is there, that there are, <clears throat> because there, many, many of them are long streams of emails. Yeah, there's, mm -hmm. there's thousands. Uh, there are things like uh, attempts to get the University of Wisconsin to, uh, dis, uh, to get rid of my PhD thesis because somebody said X was wrong with it. Well, I looked at it and, and that, indeed what was alleged wasn't even true. Hmm. And this was emailed to some of the biggest climate scientists in the world, trying to take away my degree. This is ridiculous. Okay, it's hard stuff. Pat Michaels, a pleasure. Thanks very much for joining us today. We do appreciate Thank it. You.